guys, it's Brooke, and today I just want to um, do a really quick kind of casual video on um, a Lush haul and storage. I just recently went up there with my mom, and fun fact for you guys in Tucson who have been waiting for them to build a Lush here for, I don't know, forever, they are putting one in at La Cantata, and it's supposed to be open right around spring break, so March, April-ish, so get excited for that. Okay, so... What I do is, I don't know if you guys can see this, I have the, let me turn that around for you, the bottom drawer of my makeup collection, and I typically just put all of my Lush stuff in there, except for, you know, the shampoo and conditioner, because obviously that's in my shower. So let me just show you guys what we got. Um, my mom had never been in there, so it was kind of an overwhelming trip for her, but she got the um, Butterball Bath Bomb, which is... If you look at the size of their bath bombs, this is the smallest one that they have, and it just smells kind of like honey. A lot of their stuff has honey in it, and for her, um, for her first bath bomb, I suggested either this one or Honey Bee, because she didn't want anything super fruity, so obviously I told her to stay away from the, um, there's a couple bubble bars, like Creamy Candy Bar and the Comforter. Both smell really, really fruity, and she didn't want to go for that at all. And then she also got Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter, and it just smells like really, it literally smells like cutting open a lemon, and that's exactly what it smells like. Um, it's really, really, really upside down and hydrating for your cuticles. And you could just use something like Aquaphor, but this is even better because Aquaphor leaves an oily residue and this legitimately hydrates the cuticle area and keeps like preventing, especially during the winter time, from your cuticles just cracking open and being a hot mess. And then we also, when we were in there, they gave us a hand treatment and they used a combination of Turkish Delight and Rose Argon. But we liked the smell of almond coconut smoothie better than Turkish Delight, at least my mom did. And then we also got the Rose Argan um, body conditioner. And this one smells amazing, you guys. Like, I can't even... It smells a little bit like roses and vanilla. And you just use it, like, after you um, wash and scrub and shave and everything... You just put it on like you would put on a hair conditioner, let it sit a little bit, and then rinse it off. And I've heard that supposedly you could also use that as, um, like a shaving cream. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. And then almond coconut smoothie. Kind of smells like if you put aqua mirabilis in, a, like, a, a shower smoothie. They smell very similar. This one just smells a little bit more, um, coconutty. The next thing that we got, I got another tub of Rub 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 because it's my favorite scrub ever. I will always go back to this. I think this is my third pot. Not to say that it's a it's a decent sized pot, um, but it lasts forever. And typically, you guys, I can't stand florally jasmine scents, but this one, I'm just reading the lid right here, has its fresh sea salt, mimosa, and orange blossom but it also has a little bit of an undertone of like a jasmine type scent and I really like it it's it is a sea salt scrub so it is gonna be a little bit more harsh than like a drugstore brand um, sugar scrub because those don't have a ton of um, the granules in them sorry I can't think right now and since the, the drugstore ones don't have a ton of granules, they're less harsh and they're, to be completely honest with you, they're not going to exfoliate as well. Um, the only drugstore scrub that I've found that works decently is the, um, whatchamacallit, the Caress, it's like burnt brown sugar and something else. I think it's Even Glow or something like that. I just finished a bottle of that up, and that's going to be in an empties video that I'm going to do in a little bit. But other than that, um, Tree Hut makes a good one, and I know you can get that at Walmart and Ulta. And it's similar to the consistency of Rub Rub Rub, but it's not the same scent, and I still like Rub 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 even better. 
and I feel like I'm gonna tongue tie myself if I keep talking about it next I got the um blousey shampoo and I was looking for something that would be safe for color treated hair but still do a good cleaning and this one contains rose oil black current absolute thyme rosemary and that's it and I think it also has banana I could be wrong but I'm like 80% sure that it has banana and it smells really good and I've never tried luscious shampoos before no no that's a lie I tried the daddy-o purple shampoo back when I was more of um, a coppery color back in the summer and I wasn't a huge fan just because I was in Los Angeles at the time and I don't know if it was the water or if it was the shampoo but my hair was just sort of left with this waxy feeling and it took all of the copper out of my hair and left it sort of like a dull brown which I know that's kind of the point of a purple shampoo looking at it now that they're supposed to take the brassiness out of your hair but I wasn't exactly prepared for that. Um, the next thing that I got was Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner and it just says a light and creamy vegan conditioner for beautifully perfumed hair that turns heads. It doesn't say, oh, almond milk, jojoba oil, rose, orange flower, and yeah. This one smells amazing, you guys. I really like their conditioners. I really like Veganese, but it has lemon juice in it. And again, I don't want to strip my hair. Um, and it's still got this safety seal on it because I haven't opened it and used it yet. But it smells really, really good. And when I was in there, she tested both Blousey and um, this conditioner on my hand. And the combination smells fantastic. Like, obviously, you don't use it to wash your hands or anything like that. But it smells really, really good. Um, my mom also got a sample of this Ultra Balm all-purpose hand cream. It doesn't really have a scent that I can detect, um, but it's kind of like the Lemony Flutter. It's just a super deep moisturizing cream. The next thing that I got, if I can find it in here, is a sample of the North Pole Soap. I believe this one was peppermint and cocoa because it kind of smells like a peppermint mocha from Starbucks um, but more pepperminty and less chocolate and it smells amazing and then I got a couple of bath bombs I just I got this um, perfume set for Christmas and I kept the box and this is just what I keep my bath bombs in so I got the I think it's the Rose Jam the Rose Jam Bubble Room and what I'm probably going to do, if you can tell, it has a line right down the middle. I'm going to split it so I can get two baths out of it. Normally I hate rose scented things. Anything floral I'm just not a huge fan of unless it's like Honeysuckle or Gardenias. I do like those two. But this is legitimate straight up rose and I actually really like it. Uh, the next one I got, I believe it was Sakura, I'm not entirely sure, but it's white and it's got like those pink and blue fizzy things right there and it's got little pink and blue, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, pink and blue dots all over it. And I can't even describe this you guys, I probably should have pulled up the Lush site to give you guys the descriptions, especially for the bath bombs. But it just smells really, really, really good. So, um, that is all that we got. I'm going to finish showing you guys. Sorry, that's a little noisy. I'm going to finish showing you guys how I store it. So, like I said, I keep my bath bombs in here. Um, any sample soaps that I have, I have one of their little bags that they have around their station next to the, the um, bath bombs. And I keep my sample soaps in there. So like I said, I have North Pole. I also have a sample of figs and leaves. And then I also have a sample, which this is my favorite, and I've been rashing it out because I love it so much. I have a sample of Miranda, and this is really, really fruity. I think it's mainly strawberry and kiwi. 
some orange blossom in there, if I remember correctly. Um, but if you go into the store, just ask him for Miranda. It's a big, like, it looks kind of like mosaic, but it, it's green, and then it has little chunks of, like, purple and pink in it, too. So I also have this tiny, um, cardboard box, and that just fell. And that's where I keep my soaps. So I have the pumpkin soap, because I'm saving that. I love it. And then I also have a chunk of, let me see if I can get this out. Honey, I wash the kids, which I've been slicing off the end of this, just putting smaller pieces in the shower because I really don't want to put this big of a chunk in the shower because if it washes away, you know what I mean, like the water dissolves it, I'd be really sad because I think this was a, originally it was a $15 chunk or something like that, and this one is my favorite. It's got like the little honeycomb powder and all the top of it, and it smells like the bar version of It's Raining Men. And I'm kind of a lushy, if you couldn't tell. I love their products so, so much. So, that is that haul. And if you guys want any recommendations for products, just feel free to ask me questions or go over to the Lush site, head to your local Lush store. I promise you guys, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just obsessed, literally obsessed with Lush. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, because I promise I have tons of good videos coming up, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!